What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Today I bring to you a short video that can be used as a tool to help guide your friends or relatives through the process of sharing your media. It's not that this is a hard task to complete, but it's always easier with a visual guide. So let's go ahead and jump right in while playing the role of the friend or family member who is receiving the shared library. The first thing you need to do is open up your favorite web browser and then in the URL type www.plex.tv and hit enter. Once on the page you see here, you should see an orange button in the top right corner that says sign up or at the bottom that says create Plex account. Click either one of these buttons. Now you will want to type in your email address, a new username that you can remember, and then create a password. It will tell you right away if the username is taken. If it is, you might need to get a little more creative. Once you have created your account, you should see this page or something similar that will show you benefits of buying a Plex Pass. A Plex Pass is pretty cheap on a monthly basis and does offer some good benefits, but before you go that route, you'll want to make sure that everything works for you. I should note here that at the time of recording this video, in order to use Plex on the Xbox One or Xbox 360, you need a Plex Pass. Once they move the Xbox app out of the beta phase, it will be available to everyone. Okay, now you want to go to your email and look for a verification email from Plex. It should look a little like this. Just click on that link to verify your account. After this is done, you will need to tell the person sharing their media with you what your username is. Then they will go into their Plex Media Server Management page, click on the Settings button in the top right hand corner and then click on Users. Once there they will click on the Friends link on the left hand side and then on the button that says Invite Friends. After they type in your username and click Next, they will be presented with some options as far as what they want to share with you. They can add restrictions to ratings on movies or TV shows that can prove to be useful if the Plex libraries are being shared with children. Once he or she makes their selection, they will click the invite button to finish it up. Now either they can tell you that they finished, or you will receive an email telling you that you have a pending invitation. Let's go ahead and assume that they gave you a call and told you that they were done. You will need to load back into your browser and navigate to plex.tv. Then in the top right, click on the sign in button and type in your username and password. Once you are signed in, you will see a new orange button in the top right that says launch. Go ahead and click that button and load in to your Plex web interface. Now you won't have media showing up right away. You first have to accept the invitation. So click on the wrench and screwdriver icon in the top right. Then click on users and then you should see a pending invitation here. Now all you need to do is click the little green check mark next to it to accept it. Once done you can now click on the home button in the top left and you will see all of the media libraries your friend or family member shared with you. You'll see recently added media on the front page and links to specific libraries on the left. Now you can either play media directly from this website or you can use your login information on something else like a Roku, Fire TV, tablet or a gaming system. Plex is a versatile program with many options for you to use it with. I will throw a link in the description that will show you all of the options you have for Plex applications. Remember if you found this walkthrough helpful make sure to drop me a like below and thanks for watching.